Hey guys, welcome back to another video of mine. I hope you guys are doing well. So in today's video, I kind of want to share with you guys my favorite clean beauty that I've been loving so far. I've been using it for like the past couple of weeks and I've just been really, really like impressed with it. Um, some I've already had like experience with, some are new, but I've just really been loving it. So I wanted to share with you guys. Um, so this video is not going to be too long because I have what three products to share with you guys so you don't feel like you're getting overwhelmed because I feel like sometimes when people are new to like clean beauty it can be a little overwhelming so also while talking about these products I kind of want to like maybe shatter some myths that I've like just seen online or see what people say and from like working at Sephora what people think it is and what it actually is um, so very basic straight to the point clean beauty at Sephora are brands that don't have like mineral oil sulfates oxybenzone um, parabens in them and stuff like that the whole list of ingredients that clean at Sephora beauty and skincare brands don't have um it's on the website and everything that i'm using in this video you guys um already know i'm gonna have it linked down below so right now as you guys can see on my cheeks it's like glowing <laughs> um it is the let me show you it is the rms beauty living glow face and body um powder and it looks like this and let me open it up for you guys. What I really, 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 really like about this product, honestly, it only has eight ingredients in it. Eight, okay? Eight, like, you know how sometimes you see some products, they have like, it's like a whole booklet of ingredients. This doesn't have that, it only has eight. And I like how illuminating it is. So it comes with this powder puff and one of the myths I kind of want to shatter with like clean beauty is a lot of people think they're like bland and they have no really like color payoff I think people have this misconception I'm gonna like swatch this as I'm talking so you guys can see with the powder puff and there is a lot in here like on the puff when you use the sponge it's very subtle um, I'll show you in comparison to when you use a brush so you see how it's like that and then you can use this to just soften whatever highlighter you have on there and because I already have it on my cheeks you guys can see it just looks like compared to my other hand see and I'll show you guys because it's also meant for the body um, it's giving me like amazing color payoff and since I've gotten this, I've been using it um, every day that I have had makeup on. And I like that. It doesn't have any, like, chunky glitter in it. It's like, it's like a nice sheen. And I really like how you can either opt for, like, a brush to make it look more, you know, more glowy like this. Or you can use the sponge. I really like using the sponge on my cheek um, to make it look more soft and just like a glow from within so I really 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 like this I've been liking it a lot and it's like nice and sturdy what I like about the powder puff is if you decide to travel with this it's not gonna leave it's not gonna leave a mess so yeah also um when you guys go in Sephora if you want to start shopping um, clean beauty or clean skincare you will see that when you come into a Sephora you will see I'm gonna annotate it right here so you guys can see it's going to be a green seal and it's gonna have like the check and it's gonna say clean at Sephora um, that's how you know immediately if you're like a shopper that just likes to like you know shop by, by yourself and you don't really need any help or you can ask one of the um beauty advisors i would like to just um shop clean beauty we have a gondola in stores um different store you know they vary and they differ in where their things are but um i know in my location we have two uh clean beauty gondolas where it's just really easy for you to shop and speaking of gondolas 
the next product I want to show you guys is from by beauty um, bite beauty is a brand that I've been using since really they've been a thing in Sephora um, I've just loved their stuff it they really like their lipsticks I use their lipsticks a lot on my clients um, they're so rich in pigment like a lot of the times I'm gonna show you guys I'm actually gonna apply it um, with my makeup so you guys can see that the color I have goes with my skin tone and various skin tones the color I have is glaze and I'll tell you what it is this is the power move creamy matte I don't know why I just took a breath like that it's the power move creamy matte lip crayon and this one is enriched with African mango extract and this is what it looks like I want you guys to see and I'm gonna swatch it for you I have two of these <laughs> um, because bite is just a brand I've already been using so this is just a new one I don't know where my other one is that's why you can see it looks so sharp and new like, it's so nice so I'm just gonna apply it so you see and I like that it has like a pointy tip and this also comes with a built let me show you it comes in with a built-in sharpener I know this because like I said I've been using by beauty for a really long time I love lipsticks like this because I feel like if you feel like you need to use a lip liner of the same color as the lipstick that you have this already provides that for you and with the sharpener you're able to always get that sharp edge and I'm a very like I'll say when it comes to brands like very sensorial person and this smells really amazing and really it glides on you guys saw like with one swipe how really nice and rich the pigment was I'm like I can't stop checking myself out this is really comfortable <laughs> so the next and last I've been using this more than both of those because <sighs> for a while I was not a gloss girl I'm converted you can't tell me anything else I've been loving like lip tints and the next one I want to show you guys is the tower 28 shine on lip jelly in the color spicy friend listen i'm gonna take this lip off and i'm gonna show you guys how this how this applies um so it's very what do i call it it for me it's a tint because it's like glossy and it still li leaves like a nice red color on my lips um, if you know anything about me and you've been watching me for a while red is my go-to lipstick red is like my nude I can wear red for the rest of my life and I will be satisfied so this is like it's right up my alley um, I'm gonna wipe this off and I'm gonna wear this and you guys can see how just like this can give you a little like a little glam look and this can just be like with makeup without makeup just running errands and I, I really really love how this is comfortable on the lips it's really really hydrating and um, I think it has like no, I think I know it has like five different oils to make sure your lips stay hydrated and I really really like this like <laughs> this has been like my favorite out of everything this has been my favorite and let me show you guys it's the tower 28 So with the glaze off my lips, and my lips don't even feel dry after wiping that off, so I'm good on that. So I'm going to apply this. Do you see the richness of this color already in the gloss? So like this gives me the comfortability, the hydration that I want, and it still gives me color, it's high shine. And I think what I love the most about this Tower 28 Beauty <laughs> lip shine, 
was it lip shine shine on lip jelly i got the name all in there but an, this spicy color they have uh five other colors this one is my favorite like i said i work at sephora i've played with the other colors they're all really nice but this one is my favorite i think it's because it's red what i love about this the most it's not sticky you know there are a lot of glosses like they're comfortable and nice and stuff but this is not sticky it's so comfortable on my lips um listen i suggest you guys whenever you're in your sephora next you know go over to the clean beauty gondola swatch some stuff and i guarantee you you'd be shocked at how amazing and pigmented this products are um you're gonna throw one or three or five things in your basket and <laughs> why not and i just feel like a lot now we're all aware of what we want and what we don't want in our um in our makeup because makeup is fun right we don't want to like ruin our skin or do anything like that with any other like uh how do i want to put it any ingredients that we don't want in our products so to speak so i feel like a lot of people just like knowing more about clean beauty people are gravitating towards it and um i'm really really like i'm glad i'm loving these things and even for myself i have a lot of makeup but incorporating incorporating more clean beauty into my um into my routine i've been really really liking it and every time i use something new stuff like this or especially this was my like most surprising one i wasn't really surprised about the bite beauty because i know they have like really amazing lipsticks and like high pigments and bold colors for their lipsticks but um the rms beauty face and body powder is really i think i was surprised the most and maybe this too because this is my favorite out of everything um so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video i hope it was a little more inf informative or just a little more eye-opening or just if you haven't really known anything about clean beauty it's good to just start off from one thing and then or like one product and then just keep keep building um if you just want to start using all clean products um into your routine i feel like these are good options these are good everyday options um it's usually like a gloss or a lipstick is something that you would incorporate into your makeup routine every day anyway so you could have a choice of a clean lipstick or a clean lip gloss so hope you guys have enjoyed this and i will see you in my next video bye